Hi, everybody. It's David George Brook, that gratitude guy with another gratitude message. I call this the F words of the holidays. It's the holiday season. It's all about gratitude. That's so true in Thanksgiving and the month of November, but it passes on into December as well. People think, I think, focus on gratitude a little bit more in November, December than they might other years, other months of the year. But take a moment to think about your blessings and abundance and be sure to be writing in that gratitude journal. So very important. But here's a dozen F words of the holidays. Fitness, health is nothing. There's nothing that's more important. Without your health, you just don't have anything. Pretty hard to get excited about life if you're sick or not doing well. Family, I think the best. It's kind of like the ultimate support group. Friends, it's that human connection, having people you relate to. You can tell so much about the quality of friendships you have, the people you can lean on during times of trouble. Festive, it's, just that, it's that time of year. There's a lot of joy. There's a lot of laughter. And yeah, it's a little bit tough this year, but you know what? We can still fight through it and be grateful for what we have and focus on what we have. Feast. Thanksgiving dinner, nourishing. Gosh, Thanksgiving dinner, Christmas dinner. I used to think that was the only times twice a year that I ever get full when I was a kid was Thanksgiving and Christmas. There was so much food, but it's definitely a feast. Faith, your faith, your your excuse me, your belief system can sustain you. This is especially around Christmas, but Thanksgiving time is a really good time to review your faith too and think about it. Your finances, if you manage your finances, it gives you choices. It's not about the money; it's about having options and choices to do things. And if you've worked hard, that's part of the reward you get by managing your finances. Fun. Such a great time of year to really look at the work-life balance, spend that time with family that's been even more important this year because of coronavirus, and really think about that work-life balance and make sure there's plenty of fun in there. Foundational, what are you going to build on? Are you learning life's lessons? Are you listening more than you're talking? After all, you can't learn anything when you're talking, only listening. So how you build that and learn those lessons is very critical. Future, do you have hope for the road ahead? You know, they say that people that really struggle have a loss of hope. So think about that future. And yes, concentrate on today, but think about maybe some of the things that are going on in the future. And it'll make such a big difference. So finishing, touching lives along the way. They say our football team always says, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. And that's really true. You do want to start with a bang, but you want to finish strong. So how are you going to be finishing as you go throughout the years of your life? And finally, far-sighted. What's going to be your legacy? What are you going to leave on the planet when you pass on? So those are some of, there's a dozen words or the F words of the holidays, but think about those and think about how they affect you and how maybe you can even do a better job on focusing on some of those in your life. That's the message from the F words of the holidays. I'm David George Brooks, that gratitude guy. Remember, be grateful and never quit.